Welcome to Income Dubai. Rem- remain blessed as you listen to these life transforming testimony. Welcome to Income Dubai. Connect by faith as you watch this mighty deliverance through the medium of the living water, and your case will not escape the anointing of God. Right now, ask the spirit of the living God to fall afresh on you. Ask the spirit of the living God to fall afresh on you. The spirit of the living God, let him fall afresh on you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of the living God fall afresh on you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, spirit of the living God, fall afresh on your children. Mold them. Mold them. Use them for your glory. Mold them. And use them for your glory. In the name of Jesus. Where you dwell, there is perfect peace. Where you dwell, there is perfect liberty. Remove every sicknesses. Remove every pain from their bodies. And replace it with good health. In the name of Jesus. Remove every weaknesses. And replace it with your strength. In the name of Jesus. Remove every sicknesses and replace it with good health. In the name of Jesus. Send fire from heaven to come upon every force. Call fire from heaven to come upon your life. The fire of Holy Ghost. The fire of Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Fall afresh on you right now. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire upon your life. 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 Call fire from heaven. Call fire from heaven. Call fire from heaven. Upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Fire upon. In the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost upon your life in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire. Speak out in the name of Jesus. Speak out in the name of Jesus. Speak out in the name of Jesus. Who are you in this today? Speak out in the name of Jesus. Who are you in this today? Speak out in the name of Jesus. Hot fire in the ground. Fire all over your body. From your head to your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. 
will destroy you. Many ways. Many ways. What are you destroy? Mention them. Mention them. I destroy seeds from the Mention them. Mention them. I destroy them. Mention them. Mention them. Mention them. Mention them. Mention them. I have flipped in with health problems. You have flipped with health problems. Most of the time, especially when you're in school. Okay, okay. Help, help, help. Hey, when they in the school. school. Sometimes I used to feel pain. Okay. Sometimes I used to feel dizzy. Sometimes yeah, it's not really taken serious because I was the one trying to make him able to succeed. Oh, say. Okay. okay. Who, are Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Mention your name. Mention your name. You don't own him. Jesus, what's this? You are the ancestors. Jesus will destroy you now. What else have you destroyed in this family? What about this marital life? What have you destroyed? I've been destroying. You have been having good friends when it comes to some certain level. Uh -huh. You never make things to move. Okay. Especially the person that she is right now. She's the one who has also been taking things serious to him. Okay. Due to him. Okay. It's with him like you come to your side and sometimes it's like confused, sometimes like blazing it. Okay. Sometimes they not even give him that chance to come because of one way to the other. Because each time he comes to up to you, you guys yes. trying to take him away from me. Okay. So I will never allow you guys to take him from me. He yeah, just also take him out. How did you enter him? Can you let me How did you enter him before he goes? How did you enter him? How did you enter him? Speak out. Speak out in the name of Jesus. How did you enter him? Some tickets. Mm. Okay. Okay. As I saw him that he's going to be a great man, as I never said the other time. Okay. I decided from then when he used to live with his great grandmother in the village. Yes. I decided to destroy his career. I destroy him in so many ways that he can never progress. We never do anything. But each time we see him like he wants to move forward, we get angry. Okay. We decide to bring him pain. We decide to destroy everything about him. Okay. We don't want anything good for him. We never succeed. Jesus will bring good for him. So now that you guys have already like to take him back. Pack me. all your loads. Pack all your rings. Everything that you are giving unto him. Remove them. It belongs to me. It belongs to Jesus. Ah! It belongs to Jesus. Holy Ghost fire.
You are set free. In the name of Jesus. You are set free. Stand up. Stand up, you're free. My name is uh, Safo Daniel. What brought me here last week? I was like to come and fellowship you because the last time that Daddy came here, I attended the program in the program school the program was done. So I was looking for means like to come and worship. So I never know the place. One of my brother who brought me here is Sylvester. So he told me that I was going back to Cameroon and he come and show me the place to worship. So I was very surprised when the visit here was called. I was very really ashamed when I got up. I discovered myself in social media. I was not really expecting. I was really, really shy. Yes, brother. Before we get to that position, to that place, what was the problem you were facing before coming here on Sunday? What has been your challenge? Really, in normal life, I've been facing a lot of challenges since from the time I was being delivered until when I started my marrying Papa program since because when I was in Cameroon, I used to follow his program I need to have a chance. There was a time I went there, but I didn't go to it, so still then I didn't never have that chance. So as I came here, I knew it, it was my opportunity for me to see the last time that he came here. So I was eager to be in this ministry. But as I came here that day, according to some of the challenges that I've been facing since I came here, I used to have serious attacks, sometimes like this, especially like when I want to cover my eyes. I would just see somewhere like, like as we are in this world, anywhere it would be just dark. Then I would discover strange forces. When I talk of forces, not easy forces. Sometimes they would like strangle my neck, like would squeeze life out of me. So I find it very difficult. Sometimes when I go out, I pray that even though like the thing is cool there after some time again the thing will be done again sometime again i will feel myself like i'm too i have somebody who carry a lot of load i feel lazy sometimes it's like when you have more gloves you have carried a lot of heavy things <clears throat> my body was not really stable i used to have headache i used to have fever sometime then sometime like that things are not moving like when it comes to financial even if i have money I just misuse the money. I don't even know what I'm doing with the money. Like for instance, I can see that I have this project that I'm about to follow the project. Suddenly, I just misuse the money and I don't know how I even use the money. So, where have you been in search of solution for this problem? Because you said this problem started since. What are the things you have put in place to see that you get the solution? For me, as some of these problems that I used to face, 
my neighbors like to take it serious. It's only the time that I wanted to see Papa when I went to um, Akom in Boya. I was not fortunate to meet with Papa. So it's like when I'm going closer to church, it's like I'm going to be more present to myself. Those were some of the things that I used to discover. The time that I am close to God, the attack come very severely, never come easy. I always face a lot of challenges. But when I am like into the world, I'm not taking things serious. I'm fully like any normal person. But each time I come close to God, I face a lot of challenges. Honestly. But you see, when you're in the world, do you drink? Do you masturbate? What are the things? Because we are here to expose Satan. When I was in the world, normally I used to drink. Then I used to commit fornication. I used to masturbate. Then that one I was doing to ever since with that one. When that during that time, since that came in me, as that in this, I've never even tried to like that. So do you mean before the coming of the man of God, you used to masturbate? Yes. When you say masturbate, how many times do you masturbate in a day? What was the gravity of the masturbation? Sometimes and how did it affect you? Sometimes I'm doing like two times, sometimes like three times. Things like that. So when the man of God came, what happened? When the man of God came in me, I thought on thinking about that. I don't even have to be thinking about that. I just feel like getting is disgusting. Thank for Jesus Christ. Then you were offered a, bo a, a bottle of the living water. So, brother, when you came here last Sunday, tell us what happened. Brother, I'm really this. The same that I have watched a video because I just discovered myself that day. I was really, really ashamed of what happened. I was like, I don't even know if I can just stand here for this one. <laughs> Because me, I was really, really ashamed. For me, it was like embarrassing or disgrace. So it was really, really, really short and last week. So after the deliverance from the man of God, how did you feel and how have you been? After the deliverance, I don't have any so much stress that I used to feel. My body is very light now. Now I see the deliverance. Something like money for me, I discovered that in the spiritual realm, the means I used to have money is like somebody who used to come and give me money. So I have a dream, I think it was after yesterday, like somebody like to put his hand into my pocket to remove money. Instantly, I discovered a certain spirit over me. I went and attacked the person, I fought with the person, and I succeeded. Wow. I'll take that for me. <laughs> This tree. When the person came this last time, it was like the person just wanted to just finish me. Mm. And when the person appeared, I started shouting, Jesus. The person, first way the person appeared, the person was very, very tall, mm. taller, more than a coconut. Mm. And then, like for me to see the person's face, the person's face was not visible. Mm. It's like when the shadow is standing there, my spirit was just standing there. I just saw something like white, but I can't see the person because the person was not very visible. But I know that this person, the person was just seriously pressing me in such a way that even for me to turn me turn right. Then later on again, as the person has decided to appear now physically now, the person that appeared this time now, it was in the form of a small young, a small young boy about like this. Let me just say about seven or eight years like that. The child has started serious attack. Then I discovered again Jesus. I started shouting, Jesus, Jesus. I shouted Jesus until I finally woke from the dream. Then I got up. Celebrate, Master Jesus. <laughs> what normally happens when you shout Jesus? Would they go? Normally, when I shout Jesus, sometimes they will go. Sometimes it's like I have provoked every situation. But after your deliverance, the name of Jesus became active yes, and Lord. powerful in your life. Can we celebrate Master Jesus? So, how are you? No, I'm very fine. I'm 100% fine. Very <laughs> so, for this wonderful thing the Lord has done for you, He has delivered you. What is your advice to people out there? Yeah, what I would like to advise any other person is that you should hold God very strong. Yeah. And if we are fellowshipping with God, we should not like to take God like clown. Yeah. Because God is not somebody that jokes. Mm -hmm. But if you put your mind in God, only God works. Mm -hmm. It's not like when people used to see me. Because some of these things I used to see in the TV when I was still going, I was not like to be really taking serious. I myself never believed I 
one more wonderful show in person. And what can you say about the living water? What can you say about the living water? As for the living water, this living water, before you apply, make sure you have faith. Because if you don't have that faith, it will not work for you. Make sure as you take the living water, believe in that whatever situation you are going through, this living water is going to pray for that situation. Amen. That was the same thing that I, I also think before I do. And finally, me myself, I saw the goodness in it. Clap for myself. And I know that you've been delivered from all your challenges. What is your promise to the Lord Almighty? I promise to the Lord that I will serve the Lord with all my heart. Amen. And I'm very eager to know him more. And more. Amen. Amen. from the power of God through the word of God. Therefore, in order for you to maintain this wonderful deliverance that you have received, go and make the word of God the standard for your life so as to maintain this deliverance in Jesus' name. Amen. Say Nebo. 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 Say never, never. I am the next to testify. I am the next to testify. Say never, never. I am the next to testify. I am the next to testify. Say never, never. My case is settled. My case is settled. Do you believe that? Oh yes. Say never, never. My case is settled. My case is settled. Do you believe your case is settled? Oh yes. If you believe, can you give a better clap of Welcome to I Come Dubai in Jesus' name. Tell us your name and share with us your wonderful testimony. Hello to you, brethren in the Lord. Uh, my name is Betty Lamont. I just want to confirm with what my brother said about digging water. I went back home, I gave birth, and uh, when I came back, I was facing some challenges in my stomach. My neighbor, uh, who is my good friend here, she said to me, Betty, that there is something in the power of the anointing water. Before I used to watch it on TV in Cameroon, I didn't believe that it actually exists. But when she came to me, she administered the living water to me. I told her that since that day, like, I don't feel the pain anymore. I don't like, everything about me has changed. Still the same anointing water. There was a revelation that came to me in my dream, but I did not confirm it. Someone looked at me and said, Betty, that this is not the place for you to be. You have a lot of content in you. We are not supposed to. Dubai is not your, your place. If you stay here, you will kill your dreams. And then when I went out with her again, she said, give me your CV. Let me administer the living water. When I came back with her, I told her that my spirit to look for a job has actually dropped. There was a turning around around my job. I don't know what happened. They fired me from work without any prior notification. And then they gave me their visa that go and look for a job. She looked at me. She said, Betty, that this is not the place for you. And when our woman of God in the house was also ministering this morning and said, there are people in the house that their place is not here. I felt like she was talking to my spirit. She was talking to me, this is not your place. And a friend just called me from Cameroon, several, four people before all of this is happening, before the administration of the, the anointing water on my CV, four people dreamt about me, that I saw you coming back to Cameroon, I saw you back as a radio journalist, I saw you as a TV journalist, as a great personality that you are. And my woman of God has just confirmed it today that this is not a place for me. My content is back home, there are people waiting for me. So I just want to thank God for this ministry, for making me to understand that you cannot hide what God has given you. It just brings up the confirmation to me that when you have a unique talent in life and you do not explore it, you are depriving the world of a unique result that only you can offer. Mm. So I want to really thank this ministry for the life, for the changing moments. Despite the challenges in my life, I believe that 
the living water, I will testify anywhere, and I believe that it will do manifestation in my life, in my family, and everything. When she administered to me, she said, your daughter is going to be a great woman. I have a lot to say, but because of time constraint, I will not say anything, but I just want to thank God for the manifestation. People look at me and say, you're not working, but you're looking like somebody is working. I said, I give God the glory. Yeah. My content is not here. When the right place will be, it will begin to manifest itself. So I believe that I am not here, and I'm grateful for the woman of God, for the confirmation of the word prophecy. I believe that it exists. Sister, for this wonderful thing God has done, what is your advice to people out there? There are many people in confusion, they don't know which way to take. What is your advice? As my woman of God will say, that uh, listen to that inner voice in you. Mm -hmm. Listen to that inner voice. I advise people to always listen. If you want to travel and something is telling you, do not go. There is a force behind it. So I advise you to listen. This is the way I always tell people, if God has asked you to help someone, help without looking back. Because that thing you are sowing the seed in a person's life, there will be a manifestation of it after 10 years. So I advise you to listen to that inner voice because there's always an inner voice talking to you. That is God speaking. God doesn't speak loudly like other people, but Satan will be telling you, do it. But the voice of God is so silent that if you are keen to listen, you will hear it. So take the and the Praise God. Our sister is telling us, inside of you, there are two spirits. There is God's divine nature and there is Satan's nature. Which one you choose to yield to will depend on your capacity to listen. Those two voices always speak. But most often, we tend to listen to the voice that is speaking louder. Mm. The voice of God is always gentle and very calm. Something will be telling you, do this, do this, do this. A lot of saying, don't do it. Listen. Be keen to listen. Hallelujah. Amen. What is your promise to God? I promise I will serve him. And I thank God. Sorry, she is my, actually my spiritual mentor. She sees everything about me. To a point where I used to see her say, Esther, if there's nothing you're seeing about me today, tell God to see something about me. <laughs> so I really thank God for her. She came at, you know, in UAE, they say people don't come to your life for a chance. They come for a purpose. Yeah. She came at a time I was downcasted. At a time I needed an elder sister. Look at me in an environment. I know no one. So she has been there as a shoulder. So I promise to serve God. She has been my spiritual leader and she will continue to be. I told her I was going back to Cameroon. She was like, no, maybe God just revealed the wrong thing to me. Go back to Cameroon. And I told her that I will follow her. She thought I was joking until I told her that I am behind you. She still in, she's not still believing me, but my place is not here. When your place is not where God wants you to be, there's nothing. If you go left, right, that favor that we just call, it will never come until you're in the right place at the right time. Get this one today. Seek to know the right place. 